Zuburbia Green Vintage proudly presents the Vintage Picks of the Week for the week ending March 26, 2010. Fashionistas who want to exhibit a signature or distinctive style need to think outside the box, and today's Vintage Pick of the Day is a prime example of what I'm talking about. This vintage 1920s hand-embroidered cotton negligee wasn't constructed with an intention to ever see the light of day, but today's creative gal knows that if you pair this bedtime beauty with a unitard or leggings and a tank, you'll have the most unique tunic on either side of the Mississippi. It's a lovely repurposed find for a vintage fashionista, and it's available at Vintage Textile. If your vintage jewelry tastes are more sleek and modern than sparkly and glitzy, you should turn your attention to the talented husband and wife team of Micheline de Passille and Yves Silvestre. These Canadians began their shop in 1960 and specialized in enameling jewelry and tableware. Today's Vintage Pick of the Day features a lovely trio of pendant necklaces by the talented pair. These modernist styles from the 1970s are statement pieces that make even the simplest dress chic and sophisticated. They're beautiful collectible finds for a vintage fashionista, and they're available from Nomad Aquis. If flying to the Hawaiian Islands for spring break doesn't quite fit into your budget, today's Vintage Pick of the Day brings the islands to you. This vintage 1940s rayon dress sports a print that features Pan Am Airlines, the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, Waikiki Beach, volcanoes, hula dancers, and more. And while I don't advise accessorizing it with a lei, you can certainly pair it with a little cashmere cardigan to ward off the chill of air conditioning. It's a bright, fun way to ignite the island spirit of a vintage fashionista. It's available from the land of a thousand dresses on Etsy. Our next vintage pick of the day is the premier issue of Vintage Lifestyle Magazine. This digital bi-monthly publication seeks to inspire interest in the spirit, objects, collectibles, and lifestyle of the 1920s to the 1970s. As a vintage fashionista, you're sure to enjoy this month's article on the work of Adrian, the American designer who is best known for his costume work at MGM in the 1930s. But the issue also posts an article on early 1950s suits and another on why you should wear vintage. Subscriptions to the magazine cost about $15 and you can receive a full refund within 30 days if you're not completely satisfied. For more information and to sneak a peek at the first issue, visit Vintage Life magazine. Catalina was founded in 1907 by John C. Bentz and persuaded Hollywood luminaries like Marilyn Monroe and Ginger Rogers to appear in its early swimsuit ads, but the company is perhaps most well known for its relationship with the Miss America pageant. During its early years, the swimsuit competition was the pageant's main event. All contestants had to wear the same suits. Catalina became a sponsor and began outfitting all the contestants in their swimwear. Of course, one-piece suits were the norm back then. Today's vintage pick of the day, an amazing 1940s pinup bikini by Catalina, would have been considered far too risque for the pageant at the time, although it's quite tame compared to the bikinis worn by today's Miss America contestants. With its bandeau top, its amazing tropical flowers, it's a suit that has plenty of sex appeal for a vintage fashionista, and it's available from Kakoi Mano. That concludes this week's Vintage Picks. Join us again next week for five more fabulous selections or join our mailing list and receive the Vintage Pick of the Day for free via email along with size, price, and purchase information. Sign up at suburbia.com.